Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, hi, welcome. I'm Anne and we're here to talk about romance books, specifically Kristen Ashley romance books. Now, usually my Smart Saturdays or Smart Sunday, where I think it is now because I'm behind, um, are books that I've read in the week because I want like a more immediate kind of reaction to them. But I've been slack this week. Um, if you don't know me, I'm Anne and I'm an author, so I'm on a crazy deadline. I'm trying to go through edits of a book that is coming out the 14th and pretty much I'm just I'm living a chaotic little time at the moment so I haven't had enough time to read as I sh should have as I should have given myself time and not just watch stupid like Real Housewives which isn't stupid it's really good anyway so I haven't had enough time to read but I did want to do an author spotlight and I have talked about it um bef like earlier that I wanted to do something like this so I thought it'd be the perfect time and who better to start off this author spotlight than Kristen Ashley? If you're a romance reader, specifically an indie romance reader, you most likely will have heard of, if not read, everything Kristen Ashley has ever written. I know I have. She is definitely one of the queens of the indie industry. She has a distinctive style. She's very well known for her strong alphas, her females, her awesome outfit references, and just the fact that she is like an all-around awesome chick. She's definitely very engaged with her readers. She seems super awesome. It would be my dream to meet her one day. She just definitely seems like the ultimate. She's the ultimate rock chick. So I'm here to talk about some of my favorite Kristen Ashley books and kind of uh, let you know a little bit the premise behind them. The video itself is a little rambly because I'm trying to like tell you about the storyline of each book but then also tell you about the whole series so I'm sorry if it is a little bit like all over the place I'm doing my best <laughs> I'm just doing my best I feel like I say that every week but um I'm a huge fan of Kristen Ashley I think that she writes amazing books she writes amazing heroes amazing heroines and she always encompasses a lot more than just um like a romance story she's got great side characters she's always about like food and travel and just all this music I just really really get um a really good feeling from Kristen Ashley when I read her and as I said as I say in the video she's definitely one of if not the first indie author that I read and has a huge huge um part in why I myself became an indie author so this is definitely um while I would you kind of talking about her and celebrating her and if you haven't read her and if you're a hardcore romance reader I highly highly recommend um giving it a go and if you don't know where to start I kind of do let you know what each series is about and kind of what you can expect so maybe if you are looking for somewhere to start this hopefully will help help you and I am going to do my makeup kind of um while I do this I definitely I had some struggles today my skin you're going to see in the video anyway but if you are wondering about the products I always list them down below in the description block description box along with the books that I mentioned today so if you haven't already make sure you subscribe and like follow me on Instagram and all that shiznick Without further ado, adieu? Can I speak? No. Without further ado, oh my god, what is the word? Adieu? I swear, every time I do these, it seems like I'm dumber and dumber and I'm actually more of a... Let's get into the video of me with a beer face and, if you can believe it, slightly more crazy than I am now. Thank you guys all so much for watching and let's talk about books and do our makeup. <laughs> hey. Ladies. Kiko, you have to go because you can't stay quiet. Come on, Bob, please. Alright, guys, are we... My skin's having a bit of a tough time. So, I appreciate it. If you would just be kind to it. She's going through some changes. I've gone, like, just hormones and stress and life itself. You know, I feel like we're all feeling it. My skin's just like, hey, why don't you just add on? He's playing his guitar and he knows that I'm recording because I literally, he was the one that helped me do it. Oh, I'm so irritable. Anyway, so I think I explained in the intro that it has not been a good reading week for me. Not necessarily a good life week. <laughs> I'm here for positivity, I promise, but anyway, it's not been a good reading week, so I thought we would do our very first um, author spotlight, and in honour of, I probably have actually um, really explained this in the freaking intro, so I apologise, but anyway, um, 
I thought like I had always really wanted to do this like author spot. I'm being so annoyed that he's playing it right there when he could just go into the living room. Anyway, breathe girl. I'm so irritable. Um, Jeepers Creepers. So we're doing Kristen Ashley today and my romance readers and lovers are obviously going to know who Kristen Ashley is because she's a queen of romance. Well, queen of indie romance. Her and Noah Roberts are my are my two queens and I will say that Kristen Ashley is who introduced me to the indie world. So anyway, I'm pretty sure I don't know if she is a beauty blender. Am I missed today? Am I missed every day? It's weird. Okay, you guys. So we're going to start off with, um, of course, the Rock Chick series. That is one of my favorite series from her. I love, love, love the Rock Chick series. It's going to be my, like, ride or die. I'm pretty sure it was the first series of hers that I had, like, read. I'm pretty sure. So Rochick, it starts the first book. I think there are like, I think eight Rochicks. Oh, there's probably way more than that. I'm really bad at remembering how many books there are in series. But anyway, there's a good amount. And the first one, um, the first Rochick will probably, that and um, Roxy Story, which I think is number three, are my, some of my favourites. Um, so it's set in Denver. It is set in Denver, right? Yeah. Um, and it starts with Indy, who owns Fortnum's Coffee Shop, which is, like, the coolest coffee shop in the history of the world, and I wish I, like, it existed, um, which is, it's, like, a used bookstore and also a coffee shop, and she's, like, you know, as the title says, the ultimate rock chick. She, like, loves band tees and heels and clothes and, oh, I swear, Chris, like, I know that this is going to be, like, Chris and Ashley, if you've read it before, you know that people, like, kind of have a lot to say because she has got like a very distinct style she's all about alpha males and she is all about describing outfits and houses and design details um there are some people that are like i don't like the long descriptions whatever i love them i love everything about them so anyway and i love the side characters um so indy has had a crush on this guy called lee for years and years and years like their families are super super close he is the brother of her best friend Ellie it is Ellie right gosh you guys I swear I'm a true fan but I'm just terrible at remembering names of things so anyway Indy has like loved him for years and she has tried to like get you know seduce him since she was even since she was a teenager it just had never worked out so I think can't remember when it was when she was much younger she tried to come on to him for like millionth time and he was like pretty like rude to her so she's like you know what fuck it like I'm not gonna um you know embarrass myself anymore I'm just gonna avoid the shit out of this guy who I've been in love with who obviously doesn't want me and I'm just gonna you know live my best rock chick life and party it up so she does and then of course drama ensues she gets into some trouble with some diamonds with some men with guns and anyway she needs a safe house so her friend is like why don't you stay at Lee's and she's like um don't you realize that Lee and I, it's not a thing, she avoids them. Anyway, so her best friend Allie is like, he's not there, just stay there, you know, because he's like a badass. He's turned into a badass, really scary badass guy. And um, he, Allie is stirring some shit because she's like, oh, he's not there, but he does come home and she's sleeping. And he's sleeping in his bed. Long story short, I'm going to try and talk about a few Chris and Ashley books, so I feel like I need to talk a little bit quicker about this. Anyway, long story short, um, he comes home and he finds out she's in all this trouble. And he not only inserts himself in the trouble, but inserts himself into, like, Indy. He's, like, been into her. Inserts himself into Indy. You guys know what I mean. Um, he's been into her, but, you know, he wanted her to grow up. He was into some bad shit when he was younger you know, like, dangerous stuff, he did some, da he's, like, a full badass, but he's, like, decided now, he's, like, he's got her, like, the shit has hit the fan for Indy, and he's going to protect her, but he's also going to get together finally, and, of course, what I love about Chris and Ashley's herons is they're strong will, they're not, like, she's like, no, fuck you, you've rejected me all this time, and now you decide you want me, no, so, anyway, 
pretty much the whole basis of this The Rock Chick series is like these strong women who find themselves in a lot of trouble and there's a guy that gets inserted into the trouble too and they um, usually it's like a trick a kind of a storyline of the series that they like move in together they're like the girl the woman the woman gets in all this trouble and the guy like has to move in with her to like help her out and anyway so there's always kidnappings there's always dramas and all of that and i just love it i love the side characters that she has i love the fashion i love everything i love that the rock chicks are strong female friendships and i know when i first started out like Kristen actually was just like everything I loved everything about it. I loved the humor. I loved the outfits. I loved the side characters. I'm really struggling to get this fucking thing open. Um, I loved everything about what you did. And it was just like so comforting to me. Because I think I already told you guys. I started reading romance as a way to like kind of feel safe. And just escape. Um, so I would like devour all of her books. And like so quickly. So the rock tricks are definitely some of my favorite from her. Like I just love everything about the series. It's like just your classic and you know kind of romance, especially in the indie industry. Um, I know when I first started writing, I had a lot like you know Stephen King says this. I'm sorry if this is really rambly, you guys. I swear that's all I but it was fucking ramble. But he says you kind of like if you really love an author, your writing kind of mimics this voice a little bit sometimes and I definitely think that when I started out I didn't know what I was doing I knew I loved like Christina Ashley and I loved the vibe of her books so I kind of found myself like for my first book I was like trying to kind of find my own voice and I definitely had like there it is um I definitely had like a lot of the qualities that she has in her books just like I want them in mine and I Definitely has been, was a journey to like find my own voice, which I think I 100% did. You guys, I am on Struggle Street, <laughs> Struggle Street today. So anyway, um, the Rock Chick series is one of my favorite from her. I definitely think it has got like somewhat of a formula, but not in a way that I feel like every book is the same. I really feel like she does unique heroes, unique heroines, and I love the alpha male. I love the whole, you know, she gets... A girl gets herself into trouble and like all the rock chicks you know especially in the later books because there's more of them they all kind of band together and I just really like the community of it all I love Tex um if you read the books you'll know who Tex is pretty much all of this drama surrounds usually surrounds Fortnum's coffee shop and like Lee secure Nightingale security so we definitely get like you always have the characters from previous books which is what I really do love and I will say another one of my favorite books in the series is Roxy and Hank and Hank is Lee's brother because Lee's like this dark horse badass like kind of doesn't really give a shit about the law screw it's the law and most of the guys in his employ are in the similar um but Hank is his brother and he is a cop so he's like doesn't approve of like all of the badass stuff and um but he kind of like He's a good guy, you know, he's like the good guy, whereas Lee's like the real dark, kind of like suspect bad guy, and then Hank's a good guy. And Hank and Roxy's story is awesome too. I love Roxy. I think she's probably one of my favorite heroines, but I think that just everything about the story, she has like such cool recipes, cool family, just the everything. Anyway, so the Rock Chick series. Gosh, sorry Chris and Ashley for being so rambly and not doing your books justice. If you haven't read the Rock Chick series, you really freaking need to. And if you have, let me know in the comments what your favorite books of the series. And I am really pissed off at my neighbor who's decided to do all this soaring like right on the street. So I'm really sorry if you guys can hear that. So next up is the Colorado Mountain series, which is another one of my favorites from her. I will say like, I love every book in this series. like. And now the dog's going. I love every book in this series. I, oh, I just adore this series. Um, it's set in Colorado, which is like, I told Taylor, if we ever move, I want to move to Colorado. I love it, yeah. Anyway, so it's set in the Colorado mountains, and it's like mountain men. These all like, again, alpha males. That's what you're always going to get with Chris and Ashley. Alpha males in the mountains and it's usually set around the same area between these two towns but okay so one of my favorite um books from 
that series is called The Gamble and it centers around Nina who comes from London. I'm pretty sure she like is an American who lived in London or grew up in London or something like that. Anyway, she's got like this clueless fiance who like she just, she doesn't feel the, the spark, you know, right? Like he's just not what she imagined she would have in fiance and she just like needs to escape. Not to mention she's really struggling with the loss of her brother. Her brother, um, her brother died and they were super close and she's really, really struggling with that as well. So she decides she needs to get away and go to Colorado into the mountains and just be like, what am I doing with my life? Enter Max. He's the mountain man. He's a gruff mountain man and they don't get on at first. One of my favorite things is about Chris and Ashley's books is they like, usually there's a lot of conflict between the hero and heroine. Like she's like, cause these guys are alphas and they're like, it's very much insta love. All of her books usually are insta love, but with Max and Nina, they're fiery. Like he's like this Colorado guy and she's kind of like a little bit hoity-toity and like quite cold. All right, she's also quite cold because like she's got a lot going on. She's struggling with the loss of her brother and all of this stuff and Max thinks she's like this bitch, um, this cold kind of hearted bitch, but you know, she gets really sick. So first off, they first meet because she like crashes her car into a snowdrift. So they meet and then he takes her to this cabin that he, I'm pretty sure he owns or he manages and then he rents it out or something like that. And she gets really sick and he takes care of her for like three days and she's like delirious and he's like so sweet and takes care of her. And then she gets better and she gets thirsty. She's like, get away from me mountain man. I'm trying to figure out my life. I'm trying to find myself here. And my attraction to you is really distracting. And then again, um, there is a host of other side characters whom I love. And there's drama, of course, which again, I love. Ugh. I will say there's just something so calming about like, I like the, fem the formula to her books, like not all of her books stay to one formula at all. She's got a lot of original books, but I do kind of like the meeting of the couple, the struggling to get together, like the conflict and they're like, oh, like I don't want to be with you, but I do. And then they finally get together and there's some kind of like drama. And I just, I just really like it. So that is again, another one of my favorites. She's in this cabin in the small town, but she's like fashion, but she's also like kind of with some guy who she knows is not right for her. Max is like this gruff, really capable like mountain man. It's just good. So. And also in the Colorado Mountain series, I also really love Lady Luck. And even just thinking about, like, I was, like, thinking about what books I wanted to talk about today. It makes me want to reread them. And I haven't reread Lady Luck in such a long time. I will say Kristen Ashley is one of my go-to rereads for when I know that I'm, like, feeling a little bit anxious and unsafe. And I just, wait. Sorry. Um, she's one of my go-to rereads for when I'm feeling a little bit anxious and unsafe and I just feel like I need something where I, where I'm like familiar with, um, just, yeah, I don't know how to explain it. You guys know what I mean. Anyway, so Lady Like is about Lexi, who is like fashionista, but she's had a really hard life, like a really hard life, but she's like a fighter and she's super positive. She's one of my favorite heroines of hers, actually, and she gets herself into this situation where like she's in dire straits you guys really dire straits so she gets herself into the situation where she is to pick up this guy from prison and then like pretend that she's with him and she gets a payday from it it is one of my favorite storylines from chris and ashley actually into ty he just got out of prison for a crime he did not commit and he's just like bitter and he's gruff and he's like bulky and he's just like this big saucy man and so, again, he thinks one thing about Lexi, like, you know, she's only in this for the money and she's like kind of like a gold digger and all of this stuff. So he's kind of mean to her at the start, but she's like super sweet and like really kind and just like wins him over. But they do go back to like this, the Colorado mountain town and sorry, you guys, I'm trying to do this look that I don't even really know what's going on with it. So they do end up going to this Colorado mountain town 
we're Sweet Dreams, which is also another one of the books in the series. I think it's the first. Is it the first? Anyway, a lot of familiar characters. And she finds out why she gets to pretend to be with him. And there's just like any kind of like arranged thing I'm always down for. Um, but you know, obviously it's it's meant to be a business arrangement. But of course it doesn't end up that way. They fall in love. So again, they fall in love. But there's way more drama than issues. And I love Lexi because she's just like so positive and kind and like the best for Ty because he's like gruff and he's you know obviously he's been in prison for a crime he didn't fucking commit he's pissed off so he's like angry at the world and she's like just like his light his like shining light so that one that's a really really good one guys I feel like I need to pause so I can figure out what I'm gonna do with this eye and then I'll be able to like redo it on the other eye so just be with me okay okay you guys so i'm back um i'm still fiddling around with this eye but i feel like maybe um i'm confident enough to continue talking anyway so we were talking about lady luck um again i'm pretty sure like after talking about this i'm gonna have to get back into that and reread it even though <laughs> my tb read is very long and the whole reason that this video is talking about Chris and Ashley is because oh, I didn't read any new books this week but I will say I was meaning to talk about Chris and Ashley in depth again what do you guys think about this eye I'm really into it and no my fiance is gonna fucking hate it because he's not into like bright pink eyes it's just not his it's not his wheelhouse but we don't do our freaking makeup for men we do it for us so sorry I'm just like Get really hot in here so the fan is just the what is this mood i'm so manic so the goal this the the struggle now is going to be to match this eye to the other one will i be able to do it anyway so lady luck how the fuck did i do that this whole thing is about like me trying new things with makeup it's gonna be sh somewhat of a struggle level Anyway, next up, and maybe I'll try this little brush fucker. Um, next up in my Kristen Ashley favourites is Mystery Man of the Dream Man series. I believe it is the first in the series. And again, I feel like I'm just like a broken record because I'm like, oh, this is my favourite series from her. But I know, I, want, I will say that my Rock Chick series is like my ride or die favourite from her. But I can't talk and do this, you guys. Okay, you guys, I'm sorry for the delay. I could not do that um, with... Uh, I could not do that with trying to talk to you guys at the same time. It was a struggle. And we still have a pair of cousins, not sisters here, but that's fine. So... <laughs> Um, oh my gosh, I feel like this is slightly a hot mess. Is that just going to be, should I just change the name from Smut Sunday to Hot Mess? Yeah, Hot Mess because that's when I should have brushed off the highlighter. So, anyway, Lady Luck. Well, no, I was going to Mystery Man. I, I apologise. So, Mystery Man, oh, one of, another one of my favourites. Is it just getting a bit redundant now saying that they're fucking favourites? Anyway, I just, yeah, these are, are they even related? I think they're second cousins like twice removed or something but it's okay once we get lashes on should be right i'm still happy with how it looks um mystery man oh my gosh i love i love the dream man series but mystery man will be my favorite so mystery man centers around gwendolyn and she is awesome again another one of my favorite characters she lives in this like farmhouse that she's brought for herself that she's like renovating and um, she's like a, a graphic designer or a web designer. And so she has this mystery man. Like, so it starts off with her in bed. Opening. Do I need to put some setting spray on? My makeup's, my foundation's just not setting. Right, but anyway, it's not about the makeup. We're talking about mystery man. So it starts with her waking up to someone crawling into her bed and like hating herself because He's this mystery man that she has amazing sex with whenever he decides. I will say, the feminist in me, I don't know, the feminist in me is like, yes, you should get sex whenever you want, but you should be able to decide too. That's the only thing. So, 
she made she made on my note again another thing i love about gwen gwendolyn she, gwendolyn she loves cookie dough she loves expensive shoes and um hello so anyway um she is this mystery man who she met at a bar one night like i think a year a year prior to when the book starts and um they went home together and had amazing sex she had a one night stand with him and she never got his name and it was amazing sex and then from then on he broke into her house like she locks up her house but he still gets in he broke in he breaks into her house slips in slips <laughs> slips in and has amazing sex and then leaves and um she loves and hates this like she doesn't even know his name but she doesn't want it to stop and she's just going through some turmoil with this anyway she has some trouble. Do you see, sense the theme here? She gets into some trouble. Ugh. Actually, fuck, I need to reread this book now too. I'm meant to be writing and like doing all this stuff and now all I want to do is reread these personality books. But anyway, so she gets into some trouble, which gets her mystery man out of the midnight and into the daylight because he wants to help her out. And his name's Hawk. Great name. And he's a commando. He's a badass. Kind of similar to Lee, but it's not really a security service that he has. It's like something different. So she gets into all this trouble and a lot ensues. I'm not going to give too much away for you, but I will say that she struggles with like, Hawk is really hot and cold with her. Like you can tell he wants to protect her and look after her, but he's trying to keep his distance. And you do find out why later in the book. And it is like such a heartbreaking reason. I will tell you guys that it's really, really heartbreaking. Um, she wrote it beautifully. But anyway, like, again, we get this amazing collection of side characters as we can always expect with our queen, Kristen Ashley, the alpha male thing. Wait, I need to sharpen this fucker. Um, the alpha male thing. And anyway, so pretty much it's just Gwen, like, trying to trying to form a relationship with this man that she like quickly falls in love with she's been having sex with him for a year but oh i thought this was a big patch of sweat but it's my it's my um highlighter i just went a bit too ham i really like this eye look by the way guys um so gwen has been um having sex with this guy hawk I will come back in a moment because I can't talk and put my lip liner on at the same time and I'm going to probably pop on some lashes and like get my hair sorted and I'll be right back. So for the abrupt cuts in this you guys, it is a messy day but I think that's just going to be my YouTube brand slash life brand. Hot mess. Okay so I definitely think this look might have benefited from a slightly, Jesus creepers, let me just move this bad boy, there we go. So I definitely think this look might have benefited from benefited from a slightly less intense um, eye, false eyelashes, but I committed. These are what I've got because um, I leave, I like take off my eyelashes and just leave them wherever I decide to leave them and my fiance gets really annoyed and throws them out so he doesn't know they're reusable. But um, anyway, so this is a look. I'm really, really into it. I'm not sure about how my skin is coming off on camera. I am struggling with it there. I hope you can't land plans in my pores. But anyway, we were talking about Mystery Man and the Dream Man series from Kristen Ashley. Oh my gosh, legitimately such a good book. Now, all I'm thinking about is how I just want to fucking reread that book. Reread that one and also reread Lady Luck. Maybe I will. Maybe I'm going to... Um, Amazon Prime the paperbacks because I haven't got um I only think I have Rock Chick and I do have the Gamble yeah I don't have all of Christian and Ashley's paperbacks I have all of her Kindle obviously but um I'm gonna have to do the paperbacks I also quickly want to talk about um At Peace in the Berg series another great series and my broken record the all great series but at Peace is one of my favorites in the Berg series. So this is centered around Violet, who is a single mom, uh, widowed. Her husband was murdered. Um, he was a police officer and he was murdered by the psych crime boss. And she has these um, two girls and she, it is two girls, right? Yeah. And she moves to this like the Bergs, uh, the Berg, the Berg, the Burbs, Berg. It's the Berg series. Anyway, so she moves to this quiet little town to like 
escape her grief and try and raise her girls and she one night there was loud music coming from her neighbors and you know her girls are trying to sleep she's a single mom so she pounds on the door to try and get this music to shut up into cow so he is her broody next door neighbor and again like hawk and mystery man he has a really really sad story again written beautifully and so they begin a relationship but again he is mindful of the fact that you know he's very tortured and he's just not ready for a relationship and he tries to keep her at arm's length and he's kind of an asshole to her at first but he's a good guy but he's been through a lot and he he thinks he's trying to protect her but anyway drama and shoes something follows her from um where does she move from like a big city anyway something connected to her husband's death follows her and cal is going to protect her now again one of my favorites in the series like written so well again more side characters the hero is your ultimate alpha and he falls in love with his family not only violet but her girls as well and Seriously, do I need to reread that one too? Fuck's sake. Anyway, the, the whole book series is really great, but I kind of wanted to spotlight some of my favorites in her series, uh, which is definitely, definitely. And um, what is it? Is it the Unfinished Hero series? Or I'm going to put it up here, the actual name of it. But also another one is Night. Really, really, really good. As I say, you're not going to go wrong picking them up, but these are like my holy grail Kristen Ashley books that I think everyone should read especially every romance reader especially her early ones i just read one of her latest and it was really really good too and i've forgotten the name of it but i will put it up here um that one was centered in the denver universe but it was slightly removed it's like a new breed of badasses which i'm super into i really really liked the one that the way that one was written as well gave me old school rock chick vibes so she also does um, a F the Fantasy Land series, which the Golden Dynasty is my favorite of that series. But then also so is the one with with um, the Ice Queen. Oh my gosh, the order is so good. Anyway, the Golden Dynasty is kind of modeled off if you're a Game of Thrones watcher, you like Daenerys and the Khal Drogo. It's very much like that kind of. Um, it's modeled after. I think she even said she took its inspiration from that. But anyway. That's a really good one. It's set in this fantasy universe that is like magical, kind of like the Game of Thrones universe, but she puts her own spin on it. Another amazing one. I definitely don't think you can go wrong, as I've said like a million times, but um, I hope this has been somewhat coherent. I know, I keep saying I'm going to get the hang of it, but I feel like if I haven't got the hang of it by now, it's just never going to happen. This is me. <laughs> this is just who I am. So anyway... Um, if you have read Kristen Ashley and if you have any favorites that I haven't mentioned, please let me know down below. She's written a buttload of books, so definitely I can't mention them all or else I'll be here for ages. But I will say these ones are the ones that just like give me the feels and make me feel safe. And like, as I said, now I've talked about them, I just want to go back and reread them all. I think I'm going to go on Amazon and buy. What should I buy first? Oh my gosh, I just want them all. Anyway, so next week I will hopefully be back with like my regular kind of reading vlog almost type thing with my first impressions from books. Gosh, my eyes. Um, but I definitely also want to keep doing these author spotlights on authors that I have read pretty much everything that they've published and I want to share with you. If you want like a guide to Chris and Ashley, I will say if you like the Chaos series, if you like NC for sure. So the Chaos series, I, another great one, I haven't talked about that, but if you're an MC reader, go with the Chaos series. If you like um, a little, it's the anti-hero series, is it? Or the unfinished heroes? Fuck. Anyway, if you like something a little bit dark and maybe not your traditional um, romance, definitely go with it. the anti-heroes and unfinished heroes. And this one has a, a little bit more kink and a little bit, it's definitely a lot more erotica. So go with that one. If you like um, security series, if you like um, fashion, if you like uh, strong female characters, if you like a series that you can go into the next book and you have all of your family that you, what, that you can go into the next book and you have all of the characters from previous books still in there, go with the Rock Chick series for sure. And if you like like mountain series and if you like you know all of that kind of rugged men, definitely go with the Colorado Mountain series. And then if you want um, kind of like small town romance, go with the Berg series. I think I have um, kind of covered 
most of what I can in the short amount of time that I can. So thank you all so much for watching and bearing with me and hanging out with this crazy girl. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.